Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Amber here with another guide for the River Raids expansion. In my last video, which I'll link on screen and in the description below, I showed how to get all five pieces of Lug's armor set. And in this video, I'll show you where and how to get all five of the new weapons, starting with Lug's spear, which you can find here on the river Arif. And to unlock this river, you'll need to find the clue in the river Burbha, which I showed in my previous video. So here at the Glenakali Fortress, you're going to collect the chests that take two people to open. And when you get to this one that has the skulls behind it, after opening it, you go around to the right. And that's where you're going to find the champion that you need to de defeat here. And if you use Odin's Sight, like I did right there, you'll see the blue marker up ahead that indicates where the champion is located. And if you go in here, you'll have the boss fight, which I'm going to skip to avoid spoilers. But once you defeat this boss, you will be rewarded with Lug's Spear. as well as two other items, a myth clue and a map. And the clue is going to unlock the River Rhine, and the map will show you where the champion on the River Rhine is located. So that's where we're going to head next, to the River Rhine. We're going to collect the Ulfberth Sword. And the champion here is at the Furrier monastery which is located in the right side of the map there should be a marker on your map indicating where you need to go and then once you get here to the monastery you'll find that courtyard go through this door up ahead into the church and this is where the boss fight will take place and when you've finished it, you'll be rewarded with the Ulfberth Sword. And these two weapons that I've just showed, you can get regardless of the alert level of the river. But now you'll unlock the Champions of the Faith quests. And there are three champions and three additional weapons that you can get as rewards. But to get these champions to show up on the map, you may need to raise the alert level. And you can see here on the River Severn, it's heavy river defenses, you see the skull. So raising the alert level, so you see that red skull icon, is necessary to make that map marker show up on the top right there in the Northern Monastery. And as a reminder to raise the alert level on the River Seven or any river, you just keep doing raids at that river. So keep doing raids at River Seven to raise the alert. And to trigger the battle with this champion is a little different than the other ones because it's very easy to find. You just go into the main courtyard, right up the hill into this monastery. But I got a message saying you must be anonymous. And so what that means is I had to defeat all the enemies in the area in order to become anonymous and then the champion would show up. And again, I'm gonna skip the boss battle. And when you win, you'll get Rolo's Lost Dane Axe as the reward for defeating the England's protector. Next, we're gonna head over to Ireland's defender in the river Burbha. This was the first river in this new expansion that you explored, but the first time you might have noticed it said two out of three gear and weapons. And so to get this final piece of gear, you had to come back here, raise the alert level, and now go to Festering Valley, which is in the middle of the map here. And I had a tough time actually finding where the champion was located 
here at Festering Valley. So I'm going to show you the exact path all the way from the ship. And there are my Yams Vikings. In fact, one of them is actually trying to open a chest, but I'm going to ignore that right now. And we're going to go to the place where you can find the champion. So you go up the hill here and then through this door ahead that you're going to need your Yams Vikings to open. And if the monastery is abandoned or if everything is burned out and you can't get through the door, it just means you might have to leave and then wait until the monastery respawns. So don't worry if the monastery is abandoned or you've already raided it. Just go raid some other rivers and then come back and wait until the raid has respawned at this location and then you should be able to find the chests and the champion. And here's where the boss battle takes place. And then once you defeated this boss, you'll be rewarded with a new hammer, the Celtic Crusher. And then the final weapon is gonna be in the River Rhine. And you've actually already been to this location. So this champion is located in the same monastery that we visited earlier in this video, the Ferriers Monastery. But again, I had a tough time finding this champion. So I'm gonna show you the path that I took all the way from the ship to the church. So here, the champion, uh, Frankie is anointed the final of the three champions of the faith. Well, I guess you could do it in any order, but this is the order I did it in. Uh, the champion is in the church at the top of the hill. So I had to climb up these walls and then just keep climbing up and up and up till you get to this church. And then once you get to the church, the champion will actually be on the second floor and you'll need to uh, shoot down the ladder in order to get to the second floor of the church. So you don't need to go into that pathway there behind the waterfall. You wanna climb up above here. So keep climbing up till finally you'll see the church up ahead. And that is where the champion is gonna be located. And if there's an easier way <laughs> to get to this church, let me know in the comments below. Uh, there could definitely be an easier way to get here without doing all this uh, climbing. But in any case, uh, this is one way that you can get to this uh, final champion here. And you'll notice I'm wearing the Lug's armor set that I collected in my previous video. And then once you get to the church. Here, I'm gonna show where I'm, where I'm at. And you can do this alone. So you don't need your Yams Vikings. You don't need to be uh, opening doors. So you could do this alone if you wanted. And then you're gonna shoot down the ladder to get up to the second floor of the church. And that's where you'll find the champion. And then there'll be another boss battle. And when you complete this boss battle, you'll be rewarded with Sir Gareth's Holy Sword. This is a two-handed sword, unlike the Ulfberth sword, which was a one-handed sword. This one here is a great sword. Hope this helps you find all five of these new weapons. This is Amber. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more guides and gameplay for Assassin's Creed Valhalla.